Hey guys, this is Nicole with Intimate Wisdom. So let's work on our daily read today. It is Freaky Friday, guys. So you got a $10, when will I get laid reading? Jump on that, guys. That's $10 for a when will I get laid reading. Um, I also offer $10 love readings today. We're not just going to concentrate on the sexual or passionate aspect of love. But we have $10 love readings today. Um, any choice. It can be a when will I find love reading. It could be a uh, does this person love me reading. And we also have $10 when will I get late reading? So guys, jump on that today only, Friday, October the 27th. Let's see what messages we got going on. What messages do we have for today? What energy is today bringing for October 27th, 2017? All right, well, that one just had to be out. We got the Ace of Pentacles, so this represents an abundance. Um, setting a new foundation for some of you guys. You're moving into a new home, starting a new jobs. Um, there could be some important documents or contracts that you have to uh, sign today. But it represents like an inflow of, of abundance coming in, even new foundation starting. Okay, we got the, we're using the Angel Tarot, um, got uh, Angel Tarot cards by Doreen Virtue and Radley, Radley Valentine artwork by Stephen. A. Roberts, and look at the artwork on that job. Man's a genius, all right? <laughs> so let's see what we got for the Ace of Pentacles. It says, significant abundance flows to you now. You may get a promotion, salary increased, or unexpected money. If you're starting a new business, the venture will likely succeed. The foundation for prosperity has been well laid. It is also a good time to make an investment. Consider any opportunities carefully. You may soon receive some important legal documents, contracts, or correspondence. Additional meanings of this card. Receipt of, receipt of a gift, improving health, earning a degree, significant purchase, and excellent luck. So this could be excellent luck with starting foundations today. If you guys are looking for a new places, um, a new place to stay, this could be an excellent day to find it. Um, this could also be an excellent day for starting new adventures as far as business, with business contracts, starting new things, um, just starting new foundations in general. So let's see what messages we have today. What messages do we have for October the 27th, 2017? And it is Freaky Friday, guys. $10. When will I get laid reading? $10 love readings. Okay. And this is today only, Friday, October the 27th. What energy are we bringing for Friday, October the 27th? All right, we got blossoming. It says, you are just getting started, so have patience with yourself, the process, and do not give up. We'll be reading from... The Goddess Guidance Oracle cards for by Doreen Virtue. Let me see what we have for Blossomy. It says, <clears throat> In many ways you are like a flower, like a flower bud who is ripe and ready to open and grow. Don't try to rush this process as it's part of your beautiful as it's part of your beautiful path. Enjoy learning new knowledge and skills. Take your time to gather new ideas. Nurture your body with plenty of fresh air, sunshine, and water, and help healthful food. Soon enough, you'll get the unmistakable sign signal that it is time to put your learning into action. Spend some time among flowers or work with flower essences and oils to support your growth process. Y'all, it's been a fly in here since last night. I was doing videos last night and it was bothering me, and it only seems to bother me when I'm doing videos. So it may be a message for somebody. Somebody's probably trying to be seen all right it says various meanings of this card slow down have patience get involved with gardening use aromatherapy and our flower essences and keep faith okay so a lot of you guys are going through transitioning you're blossoming your turn your um transitioning into the new you and it's going to take some time for you to really get into a stride of a uh, how you're handling your business and how you're handling your responsibility. So have patience with yourself. Understand that you are just getting started down this journey. Um, trust the process, guys. Trust the process. Everything is worth, everything will happen in perfect timing. So don't rush anything. Trust the process and please do not give up on your goals. All right, so what energy are we bringing in the power of love today for October the 27th, 2017? What energy are we bringing into our lives? To increase the power of love we got trust it says you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition so we pull trust guys 
Let's get the book for that. That's not the book for that one. We're using the Psychic Tarot Oral Deck by John Holland. Oh, no. That's the wrong one. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> We're using this next. We're using The Power of Love by James Van Prop. These are Power of Love activation cards. Let's see that we got trust. There we go. It says, when you listen to your soul's voice, you will never go down a path not meant for you. But you must learn to trust the voice. Be up. By honoring the sacred knowledge within you and acting on it, you can manifest great miracles in your life. Your intuition yearns to be heard, and every day you are given opportunities to, te to test your trust in it. As you go through your human journey, pay attention to each instance the voice arises. Notice the significance and don't, dis don't necessarily dismiss it as coincidence. Begin to perceive yourself as a part of the flow of life with an ever-expanding part in it. In it. As conflicts and challenges come up, recognize these obstacles as opportunities. The more you accept your inner voice as trustworthy, the, the easier life comes. Unfortunately, there are many things in this dimension that you cannot trust. Some people and sometimes even your own eyes. But no matter what, you can always trust your intuition. You can always trust when your intuition speaks. So this is telling you to trust in your intuition, trust in the process, and trust that things happen in the time they're meant to happen. Don't rush anything. Take your time and let things flow naturally in your life. <clears throat> okay, guys. So get to the point of our daily read where I ask you to think of a of a um, question. Think of a question or situation, and let these psychic tarot cards by John Holland. That's this one. Give you the answers that you need or you desire. So that's what you're mm, well that one definitely flew out. We got prosperity begins. Hey, that's an awesome card. Prosperity begins. Some of you guys need to work on structure, setting um structure to yourself, working on your sacral chakras. That's your willpower, okay? So some of you guys need to be working on that. Also your stability, okay? Let's see. Prosperity begins. <clears throat> 73. That one was easy to find. Y'all, I got excited. <laughs> Every day I have trouble finding these um, because they're all different colors and they start at different parts. It's ridiculous. You have to read it to know what I'm talking about. All right. It says, this card brings a message of beginnings, prosperity, wealth, and new business, which can soon be in the palm of your hand. It may result from your hard work, past efforts, or, and investments, or it can show up unexpectedly. It may even be presented as a gift. With, caref with careful, diligent, diligent planning, recent endeavors, and money-making ideas show great possibilities and promises of monetary gain. This is a time of focus on the most beneficial outcome. Expect the best and envision that a project or new job having a successful result. Feel it, see it, and most importantly, believe it. When you focus on abundance and the positive aspects of the material world, and offer gratitude, prosperity in all forms will flow even more freely. So this talks about... This talks about believing in yourself, believing in the fact that you are going through a transition process. Things are beginning for you, understanding that they're beginning for you, and really believing that you deserve them and that they will come to you. This also, to me, speaks about cause and effect. What you put out into the universe is what you get, and every single day I say this, so this is definitely a message for somebody. Whatever you think, whatever you say, whatever you believe, whatever you feel, whatever you have going on for you at this moment in time will determine not only your future, but your past. So this this is like an indication for you to always think positive always think positive always know that things are going out for your best good never think try to if you're thinking negative try to derail yourself think positive put a positive thought in your mind so that you have those positive intentions at this point in space and time so that you can transfer those positive intentions into not only your future but your past you want to look back on failure you want to look back on positivity okay so this is all I got for today. Thank you guys so much for watching my daily reads. Today is Freaky Friday. Like I said, you get $10 When Will I Get Late readings and also get $10 love readings of your choice. Um, hit me up on my email, intimatewisdomtarot at gmail.com or hit me up on my website, www.intimatewisdom.net. If you guys would like to donate to my channel, you can do so through PayPal. That's um, 
paypal.me slash intimate wisdom thank you for watching my channel please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed if you have already thank you so very much i greatly appreciate it um please comment like share subscribe and please share this video guys so other people can receive these messages as well that's all i got for you so stay tuned for your monthly reads coming up pretty soon have a good day